Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm talking about the Rimmel Powder Compact Foundation. So I picked this up quite recently and um, I have tried a lot of powder foundations in the past and I haven't been successful. So I've tried the MAC one and um, I've tried a Revlon one that came out some years ago. Essence brought out one a couple of years ago but I could just never find the right shade. And um, I stumbled upon this the other day and I thought well let me give it a go. It was fairly affordable so I thought well if it doesn't work out it's not going to be a huge loss. But um, it has been my mission to find something similar to this just to keep in my makeup bag for touch-ups on the go because I do find that with menopause and these hot flushes my uh, makeup does uh, tend to melt off throughout the day and it's now taking more than a, a dab of um, powder to remedy the situation. So I thought, well, if I can find um, a powder foundation compact that I can just keep at hand, you know, that might um, solve a lot of my problems. So I was quite skeptical when I picked this up. I haven't tried a lot of products from Rimmel and um, I haven't really had success with their foundations in the past, but I thought, well, let me give this a go. So let's explain uh, what this range is all about. So it comes in 12 different shades. It comes in a compact that looks like that. They do say, just reading off my notes, they say um, it controls shine without feeling dry on your face. So spoiler alert, this is definitely for people that have got normal to combination skin. Um, I don't think it would work for anybody that has dry skin. They say that um, it's a soft touch powder that lasts it's um, a fine powder that blends seamlessly for a buildable yet lightweight coverage. And they say that it lasts all day and controls shine. And uh, they say controls shine three times actually in this description. They say it's transfer proof, sweat and water resistant and it's vegan dermat dermatologist tested. So sounds really good. Um, at the outset. So I picked it up in the shade Honey. Now I have seen that the shades, the names of the shades vary throughout the different markets but in South Africa this is 009 and it's called Honey. In other markets I think it's called True Nude. So it comes in quite a lightweight plastic container and um, when you open it it does come with a mirror. I think you get nine grams of product. I will just double check that. And it also comes with its own sponge. So I keep the sponge in here because um, it could be quite handy if you're in a pinch, but I do prefer to apply this with a foundation brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna show you how it applies and what it looks like on the skin. So I take a a kind of flat foundation brush it's quite fluffy and I prefer to apply it with something like this because um, it just kind of shears it out so it doesn't uh, there's no cakey buildup. So taking my brush I'm just going to pat that into the powder and um, it is quite soft there's a little bit of kickback and I'm going to just start applying it so I have moisturized my skin really well and I think that is also one of the tips and tricks with this but just one brush of the powder onto my skin and you can see already it's covering up my pores and it's giving me some really nice coverage so very impressed with this formula so this is definitely not um, a first time wear test I've obviously used this before but um, the first time I tried it as well, I was really impressed at the application. It just goes on really smoothly. So it's giving me a medium coverage. You can still see my skin through the foundation. It's not obliterating everything. And again, I wouldn't want it to be a full coverage because um, that's not what I'm after. I'm just after something that is going to even out my skin tone, that's going to feel lightweight on my skin, is not going to exacerbate my pores, and is going to control my shine to some degree. Nothing is ever going to control all the shine. <laughs> but um, you just want something that is going to, you know, give it a try. Give it a bash. So there I've done the one side of my face. I must say I got quite lucky because this shade is a perfect match for my skin. It's really neutral so it doesn't lean too yellow, it doesn't lean too pink. It 
really is just such a gorgeous shade. And you can see, I do have a couple of things that it hasn't covered up, but I'm not looking for full coverage. So that is the side with foundation. And that is the side without. So already I got very excited at the way that this applied. I just thought it was really quite beautiful. It's very easy to apply as well. You know, you don't run the risk of any streaks because it is a powder foundation. You just kind of gently buff it into the skin. So, mm, really very, very impressed with this application. You must excuse all the banging. I do have workmen, and they happen to be now right outside the window, which wasn't the case when I started the video. But anyway, we'll power through. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this. Now, at first glance, you're not going to need to apply a powder. Um, that probably defeats the object for a lot of you. But I do find that throughout the day, I do have some oils that come through because my skin is combination. And so I would often just apply a powder, a blotting powder to blot away the oils. But now that I'm carrying this in my makeup bag, I just take a little bit and I just kind of dot. It's normally my T-zone area. So I just dot and it takes the shine away. And it does help to just smooth the pores. So really, I think that this foundation is a fabulous one for just um, a very a, a medium coverage, but just days where you don't want to look like you've tried too hard. So you've got something on your skin, it's evened out your skin tone. That's what it's doing for me. It's giving me a very natural finish. So it's definitely not cakey at all. It's definitely not exacerbating my pores. I did find that throughout the day, it did um, kind of sink into my pores slightly. Look, anything I think is going to do that um, on my skin. I have to be quite realistic. But as I say, when I touched it up, it just kind of, it really improved the situation in an instant. So looking at this foundation, I'm looking at it more from a convenience perspective, something that I can throw in my bag. It's really portable. I can use to touch up throughout the day when I'm needing a little bit more coverage than just blotting powder. If my foundation has migrated, I can just take it off. Um, or should I say just pat, <laughs> pat a little bit of the foundation into the skin. So now that we've done that, I'm going to apply a little bit of blush and another product that I picked up from Rimmel are these maxi blushes. I picked up, well, I, I can only find one shade and I have discussed these in my drugstore powder brush, powder blush video, which I will put a link to down below. And there I was talking about drugstore powder blushes that I think perform really well on mature skin. And this one was definitely in my picks because I just found that this is a really sheer but pigmented blush. It's just really blendable on the skin and um, just gives you a beautiful wash of color. This definitely doesn't emphasize pores or texture. So I'm gonna take a little blush brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. And um, as I say, very, very highly pigmented. So you need to just start off with a little bit and then add more if you need to. So guys, apologies if I am repeating myself, but I got very distracted by that workman who was <laughs> right outside my window. And I had to ask him just to take a little break so I could finish the video. And um, I kind of lost track of what I've said. But anyway, so I'm gonna recap. So what do I think of this powder compact? Well, I really like it. I think it gives you a beautiful medium coverage, which is very lightweight on the skin. It's got a wear time of between four and five hours. So personally, I do need to touch it up, but I find that it's very, very easy to do. It's just very convenient, especially because it is in the portable compact. I do find that once I've applied it initially, it gives me a beautiful flawless complexion. It really does disguise my pores, but I find that as it wears throughout the day, 
it does sink into the pores just a little bit. So that is just something to, to consider. My skin um, does still get a little bit shiny. So um, I do need to touch up. Um, it, it has a bit of shine control. But really, I think, you know, as a drugstore powder compact, I was really impressed and um, I was lucky enough to find a shade that suited my skin tone absolutely perfectly. I mean, if you look at my skin from you know, a meter away, it doesn't actually look like, or half a meter, it doesn't really look like um, I'm wearing makeup. So it really just does give a very light finish and it's great for those no makeup makeup days where you just want a little bit of something to even out your skin tone. Let me know if you have tried it, let me know what your thoughts are. I haven't seen a lot of reviews online, so I'd be really interested to hear what you think if you have used it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave you with a link to my video on drugstore blush. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.